Hello, dear listeners, episode 24 of our talk. And today I want to address oil paint as medium. Yes. Um, so in today's talk, I discuss three points. And one of the biggest is fear of the medium. I hear that a lot. Colors of oil opposite acrylic colors. And logically coming from that, the quality of the paint and the importance of that. And why? So I often hear um, and read that people are afraid of oil <laughs> or don't use it because it dries too slow or that it is medium for professionals only. You can never redo a mistake and more untrue stories. To be honest, I have no clue where that fear comes from. I know advertising is a form of gaslighting and acrylics are probably put forward as easy to use. But let me debunk this once and for all. First of all, oil is not difficult to use at all. And you can easily redo a mistake. Oils may take only a few days to dry, a few weeks to dry, and that depends completely on which color of oil paint you use. Some dry less quick than others. But with modern produced oil paints, which of many are also transparent, they dry quick and sometimes even quicker than I like or aware of, especially when it's warm. And especially when it was as warm as the last few weeks. So, why do people fear oil paint? I have no idea. It is a medium that works smoothly. It's easy to use. You can paint wet in wet. You can even optically um, mix the colors. Um, you have to notice and you, have to, you need a skill. I'm stunned by it. Fear of oil. But you don't have to. Because fear is based on nothing. Based on not knowing. And having the skill is a first, of course. And that is not necessarily based in painting itself. That starts with drawing and sketching. You need to know the basics. You need to be able to give form and to give and to, to shape before you start painting. If you eat, and it doesn't matter what you do, if it's portrait, still life, or um, landscape, you need to be able to make a composition. But the beauty of oil, come back to oil, is that you can easily redo a mistake. It is a story that goes around that isn't true at all. So don't worry about that. The colors are not as bright and beautiful as acrylics are. Who says that? Acrylics are pigment with di a different binding than oil, but still the same pigment. So why do you think they are brighter? It has, and that is my next point, all to do with the quality of paint. Yes, the quality of paint. Even when you use cheap acrylic, the colors do not stand out, are not as bright as, as you want them to be. The same goes for oil paint. So the best paints are not the cheapest, but the purest. They have pure pigment and linseed oil as binder in case of oil. That means that the colors are bright and they will even deepen the longer the painting dries. With drying, I mean intrinsically dry, so you can give it an end varnish. Most of the time with oil paint, that is after two years. That doesn't mean if you have clients, they can't have them. Of course they can. They can come back or you go there, whatever. But you can give it already uh, a retouche varnish after a week or two. 
retouche varnish, lets the painting breathe and dry further. So that idea that oil is slow in drying <laughs> only refers to the end stage. It also depends on how thick you apply it and the colors used. Some colors dry quicker than others. And I know from artists that I know who apply thick um, layers, uh, really thick layers of paint, impasto is the name for it, that needs to dry long because you have a thick, the, the, the linseed doesn't dry quickly. But that doesn't matter. That's what they apply. When you have learned the skill and learn how to use oil paint, you can also paint wet in wet. But using oil paint is not a matter of fear. It's a matter of choice, a knowledgeable choice. And acrylic dries so quick, wet in wet is not an option. So keep that in mind. If you want to paint wet in wet, you can't use acrylics. You can't do wet in wet. And I know the painting behind me in the background is acrylic. It's one of the first acrylic paintings I made. And the moment I turned around and came back, it was already dry. That for me was a learning curve. I had to learn how to use the medium. Learn to handle it and understand how it works. If you can learn anything from the old masters, is that they knew exactly how to handle the medium they painted with. Hence, they made it themselves. They made all the paint themselves. They had apprentices who did this. They were themselves apprentices, apprentices who did this. Um, I know Rembrandt sometimes used bits of chalk or bits of charcoal. And they were with this tool turning that around on a glaze, like a half a bowl of glass. And then they were grinding that on a, on a glass plate or something. And then little bits of linseed oil. And again, high quality paint. So if you have tried each medium, like yeah, we talk oil and acrylic now, for a while, you can make a choice of what you prefer based on knowledge and experience. Never on fear or stories that go around and become some kind of wild knowledge. Listen to your own gut. I know for sure. And as you probably already get from this talk, that I love oil paint. I've tried acrylics. I've painted several portraits with them. But I just don't love it as much as I do oil. So maybe if convenient, when I have a hurry or need to do something, I can. You can apply uh, acrylic under an oil painting. I don't do it, but you can. I know artists do this. Um, on the academy, I was told to, to use acrylics for the imp uh, imprimatura because that is dry quicker. The acrylic is dry in, in a moment when you use um, uh, Venetian red Venetian red or something and you dilute it and you paint the, the first layer, the imprimatura. It takes a day, maybe two days to dry and that's not with uh, acrylics under it. You can do that. I know uh, artists do that. You can never, ever use acrylics on top of oil paint. It doesn't work. Then it will come off. I heard bad stories about that. So you have to make that choice as artist. And as said before, based on knowing how to handle the paint and experience it yourself. But you need to know the medium, you need to know all the ins and the outs. Otherwise, you make mistakes, like the story of the one who wanted to paint a portrait for her mom. She did, and then said, it's not dry, it needs to dry. Yeah, but why, why, when do you need it? Yeah, tomorrow. 
But that's too soon. You can't start now when you have a portal for your mom tomorrow. And she was not a professional. She's a hobbyist and that's okay. But even when you use this hobby, you need to know what to do and how to do it. So she made a big mistake. She should have used acrylics. Wouldn't be easier for her because it dries quick and she will have, could take the portrait. And of course, that's not the only reason why you choose a medium. It's very personal. It has to fit with your personality. And mine is oil. Listen to your gut and experience and test it and train it and learn everything about it. So use always the best quality. Because from the colors, we go to quality. They make the brightness you want, the in intensity of the colors. They stand out. So I use uh, Rembrandt for um, the oil paint. This is a high quality paint. Or Winsor & Newton Artist color, also high quality paint for oil. Uh, and the best is uh, Old Holland. That is really pure, high quality pigment with only linseed oil. And even on the labels, and I love that. I, I, I'm a geek, but that I love that. They have this label, this little label, and on it is a little bit of paint from the tube, from what, what's in is on the label. So you can really see what the color is. With Rembrandt and Winsor and & Newton, you need to know the um, number or the name. Because this color of the tube Color of the tube is not what's in the tube. That's a different color. It, it doesn't even come close. But yeah, you pay something for it. But you also have something for it. Cheap paints have, have different binders, have additives, have like chalk in it, uh, other oils, um, and less pigment. Less color pigment. And that's why the colors will be chalky. I call it chalky. I have no other name for it. And they never stand out. You will not get that deep, in-depth color that goes through and through with that paint. With the real high quality oil paint. And you have to test. You have to test with colors to see which dries less quick and which dries quicker. There are mediums you can use to let it dry quick. I know high quality artists, by the way, don't underestimate them, museum quality work, but they, they want that. They want a medium that dries the first layer. So when you paint with oil paint, it's always um, a thick of Amiga. So you start with a very thin layer and then it makes it thicker and thicker. Um, and they use a medium and it dries, makes the, the paint dry quick. I don't know how long. I never use it. Um, for me, it's not necessary. But that's a choice. That's a choice. Personal choice. Only use retouche varnish after two weeks when the painting is touched dry. And after two years, if you still have the painting or if your client wants to, you can use an end varnish. Now for the varnish, I use Winsor & Newton or the German one, um, Dama, Dama varnish or something. Um, varnish is, by the way, not only to bring colors back, it is also to protect your painting. Now for acrylics, I use high quality paints too. Yeah, even if I tried it out, even if I just painted a few portraits with it, I want the high quality medium. Otherwise, I can't compare. So I use golden. And you have also golden heavy. This is golden artist colors. High quality. Um, and also acrylic paintings get a varnish, again, to protect them. And uh, Galeria is one I use, Galeria. So even with acrylics, when you use a cheap one, you go to the works or when you're in the UK or something um, of, or a hobby shop and you use cheap acrylics, they will give the same result as cheap 
oil paint because they have more binders, less pigments. Always, always try more mediums before you make a knowledgeable choice. Not based on the general stories and ideas that are going around. That is hearsay. You have to experience it. You have to do the research. You have to feel it. You have to know what it is. And I know from one artist, um, Kelly Folsom, a really, you can listen to her interview. There she talks about it, how she was struggling because she thought, I have all this expensive acrylic paint and I did it for a year and I didn't love it. I couldn't do it. And I thought I was, I was not an artist. And that's ridiculous. You are, but you have to use the right medium for you. And never take on a commission like that woman now when it needs to be finished tomorrow. That is that is not, not a good good thing to do. Not even when you use acrylics. It was a gift for her mom, but still be on time and do it then if even if you need it within a week, use acrylics because oil needs a little bit longer. But that oil is um, a medium you can't work with because it takes way too long to dry. It's not true. That's not true. You can work with oil, no problem. And some parts will dry longer and some parts will dry quicker. And it depends all on how you apply the paint. It depends all on what work you make. Uh, and it depends on yourself, your personality. Do you like it? Do you want it? Do you love it like me? Are you a geek like me? I use oil and not acrylics. And that's what I do. I make my choice. And of course, if you really want to learn, then pop me a mail or get in touch. I always love to mentor you on your artist journey. So thank you for listening. And I wish you all a lovely week. Don't forget to share this with anyone who wants to know, wants to have more information. And next week, I have um, I have an artist with me who I think you all should know. Really great artist. Highly spiritual. Great business. And um, high vibrations. So see you all next week. Bye.